now let's learn about test in parallel okay test in parallel it is the same thing this four point you have to remember what happened in test in series you have to remember and you can remember it without mugging it up if you know what is happening with sensitivity then you can remember the remaining three also because specificity ppv are just opposite npv same as sensitivity okay decreases npv here we have to write npv ppv we have already written that it increases ppv and it decreases npv now test in parallel test in parallel is again same as we used to collect connect resistance in parallel right? it used to look like a mouse and right? like that so it means at the same time we are doing two or three tests on a person let's say the most common example is renal function test liver function test rft lft cbc thyroid profile all the tests which we do mostly they are tested in parallel let's take example of lipid profile test suppose i have taken 200 obese friend of mine with me and we went for lipid profile so in lipid profile first thing is ldl if it is more than 100 or equal to 100 it means the person is positive for hyperlipidemia second is total cholesterol second is triglyceride third is total cholesterol but anyway if total cholesterol is more than or equal to 200 the person is hyperlipidemic third is triglyceride if triglyceride is more than or equal to 150 again the person is hyperlipidemic so if any one of these three is raised all of it means that the test is positive test positive okay so test in parallel means that we do two three tests at the same time and if any test result is increased or raised then the patient is declared to have the disease okay and when triglyceride is more than 150 again the test will be positive so it means if any indicator is positive test result will be positive out of any test any test is positive test result will be positive and we all know that there is one more criteria that we keep that hdl should be more than or equal to 40 because if hdl is less than 40 then again the test is positive we all know that so just like that we also rft lft cbc all these tests we do in parallel in fact the reason why most of the tests which doctor prescribe is in parallel because we want to find some illness in the patient okay suppose i went for this lipid profile testing and only one thing suppose only total cholesterol is more than 200 for me now that will be good for me just because of one parameter is more i am positive so i may start doing exercise i may start eating good healthy diets and, and less heavy dinners and all okay less beers and all so that will be good for me therefore we want the patients to be positive so that they can correct their lifestyle and they can improve that's why we do test in parallel because test in parallel gives us more positive sometimes it can be false positive also but there will be more and more positive when we do test in parallel okay but opposite to this is the HIV test if I will be falsely positive for HIV then that will not be good for me you know I may be very angry and you know? I may kill someone I may do something okay so we do test in series where we do not want false positive and we do test in parallel where we want false positive okay so please remember that test in parallel it increases false positive and we just read above with detail example that false positive is directly proportional to sensitivity the more positive you will include either true or false that will always go in going to increase the sensitivity so it means when false positive is increasing sensitivity is increasing it means test in parallel increases sensitivity now can you stop the video right here and tell me just give a pause and tell me what happened with specificity what happened with ppv what happened with npv because we know one thing test in series increases sensitivity 
Now, specificity is very simple. It is just opposite. So that will decrease. Test in parallel will decrease the specificity. And what is the relation of PPV with sensitivity? Again, they are in a way inversely proportional. So when sensitivity is increasing, it means PPV also decreases. And when PPV decreases, NPV increases. So like that, they sometimes create multiple options that what happened in this situation? What happened to PPV? What happened to NPV? And of course, you need not to mug all of them up because if you only remember the first line, you can answer the remaining three. Okay. And if you only remember one line summary of this whole topic, then I think you will not do any mistake in answering any of the question from this topic. That is test in series decreases sensitivity. Okay, if you remember this line, then you will remember that test in parallel increases sensitivity because that is opposite. And if you remember about sensitivity, you can answer the remaining three things. Okay, so that's all from this topic of test in series and test in parallel. I hope it will be useful to you to remember it from the conceptual side. Thank you very much for listening. We will meet very